Uh, yep. So my name's Jeff Allen, and uh, I have a Hire a Hubby franchise. Um, now I've been running that for five years and a bit, and I've got about two years to go. And here I am. I I, I ran it for a few years, yeah. and and it's just sort of bumbled along. And in fact, I took a bit of a hiatus last year. And my employee was been has been running the business for me. And I did some bits and pieces and helped him out occasionally. Um, but I've come back this year and turn over the cash flow while I'm here still. And uh, I, I intend to uh, start running a successful business. Had you been thinking about coaching before you came to, to see us? I have actually used a coach before. Uh, my wife runs a very successful hair salon um, and wow. she has a coach that she uses there. He's primarily for uh, so I did use him, but uh, look, I, I felt that he just didn't know enough about the industry for me. And being accountable, I have a military background, so I'm, 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 I'm sort of well versed in, in environments where you're held highly accountable for. Yeah. Um, you came to the Carpentry Australia event. Yes, yes, yeah. I did. So I've been, I've been a member of Company Australia for a few years. Um, Fantastic. I've always felt that as a trade that we we really just have cocked it up when you certainly when you compare carpenters to like electricians and plumbers that have had industry associations for so long so yeah. i'd be more than happy to join up with them and yeah yeah i, I saw the the thing and went along and uh do you know it's like everything you see business coaches you know throughout the years your business evaluation the session that you had yes. so what did, what did you learn what did you learn about yourself and your business from that uh, look, it wasn't any surprise, really. I mean, I, I, I know that um, we, we certainly within my business, there's, there's a, a lack of process. There's sort of just like, you know, seat of the pants thing. The only time you look at numbers is when there's no numbers in the bank account. Um, <laughs> things like that. Um, there, there really is a need for just, just gripping up what, what we're doing and stuff like that. So what was the trigger? What made you join the Academy program? Um, well, as I said, a, a lot of what Stefan said in the in the the seminar, the Carpentry Australia thing, it just it was like he was describing my my business, the procrastination, the you know the non, you know the that, just about everything he said pretty much described what we're doing, and it was just um, um, it was just time, yeah. absolutely. Um, if there's one thing you'd like to change in your business in the next ninety days. What would it be? Uh, definitely the cash flow. Yeah. Um, that we're just we're just very cash poor at the moment. Um, it's really highlighted. It, 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 and as I said to my employee today, we sat down, had a bit of a session, and we sat down and we we wrote down the roles within the business and who would do each and the overlap of roles and stuff like that. Uh, again, I, it's a lot of it is the accountability and it's the it's the forcing forcing me or forcing everyone to 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 look at what's going on and to acknowledge what's going on um, yeah. you know, and, and to voice it. Because every time I go, I just think, oh, my God, three takeaways. What a pain in the ass. But it, it, it's good. It's good at the end of it. It's like...